So we have been on vacation all week and this is our last day of vacation. This is the climactic event. This is the climactic moment, the climactic place in which we find ourselves. Our entire week has led up to this moment where here we are at Carhenge. It is Stonehenge, but with cars. And so instead of calling it Stonehenge, they call it Carhenge. Oh! Carhenge. 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 This is Carhenge. 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 Carhenge! Your first question upon encountering Carhenge might be, why? But creator Jim Reinder's answer would simply be, why not? He would create a Stonehenge replica, a Stonehenge West. <laughs> <laughs> Look at rules. And then there's a picture of him, like in the car. The most well known thing in Nebraska. It may be the only thing in Nebraska. So, little known fact about. Um, Stonehenge is that Stonehenge actually lines up with the sun during summer and winter solstice. Carhenge is the exact same way. Yeah, with cars. One cannot enjoy Carhenge without at least at some point slapping the roof of the car. Go on, do it, Troy. Go on. Good. <laughs> Compared to the regular Stonehenge, they built this in like less than half the time. Yeah. Like 9,999 years and 51 weeks faster than the regular Stonehenge. Dang. That just tells you how much better we are in America, I think. Yeah. Dang because Europeans. it took us like barely any time to do what took them thousands of years. So. Yeah. Yes. Recap the entire week. Just go through everything we did. Oh man! Oh, wow! Wow! So, uh, we, and uh, we headed to Sioux Center, and we left about 7:50, right on schedule. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right on schedule, Troy. <laughs> and after we left, we hit the road, and we just kept going. We go. All right, welcome to Sewage City, guys. Welcome to the vlog. We are driving through the rain. We just left Sioux Center about 45 minutes ago and now we now now we're we're driving through the storm we're in the heart of the storm look at this as mikey montoya would say we're in the storm right yeah. this is this is uncle chris and this is um troy so and we're beginning our journey to um laramie wyoming um what's happening is claire's moving in to her new homestead in her and she's going to be a teacher and we're driving there it's going to be an adventure and we're going to have a great time. I saw that one. And this is the, the beginning of the adventure, and it's all beginning right now, and it's the start. And this is the beginning. This is where, this is where it all happens. This is where it begins. I do feel like I'm going to start We we stopped first in Gretna, Nebraska, for some gas. Um, Man, you remember that? Yeah. As I was say, I don't remember where we. Hey! Hey! He what? He just, he just caught a fly with his hands? Yeah, I grabbed it with my hands and I said, that doesn't fly with these cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Farewell. See you later. Chris, give us an update. Where are we? Where are we doing? Uh, we're in Gretna, Nebraska. And we're Gretna. the bathroom and regretting some gas and <laughs> regretting some uh, f fuel for you know the ride and we regret that well we actually left a load <laughs> we didn't we didn't gretting a load we <laughs> uh, this is the arch you were talking about this is so underwhelming <laughs> like we chose this over car hinge <laughs> tell 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 all your listeners how you feel about the arch. Oh, the arch we got away from the <laughs> That might be the alpha wolf. Might be. Do you reckon? <laughs> Welcome to Wyoming. There it is. 
We're in Wyoming. Yes! Yes, we are! All right, so bucket list. What is on our bucket list? Um, we're going to hopefully see some different kinds of wildlife, maybe elk. Hang on. That's kind of a long shot, but, um, you know, other animals would be cool. Uh, go on some hikes. Hikes, yes. Uh, we want to go to the Wollongo gas station. Yeah, we got to go to Wollongo. It's like a come and go, but like, well. Hey, at the second we enter Wyoming, suddenly the scenery, like, has suddenly become, like, way cooler. Cool, like, there's, like, rocks and stuff. This is what Nebraska's been hiding from us the whole day. Jackson Hole. Yeah, Jackson Hole. That's where all they are. Tiger Hood, Tiger Woods, you know, out in Jackson Hole. Not the golf course hole, because he's got a hole in one, so he's got to go to Jackson Hole in one month or two, because that's where his real estate is. Yeah. Wow. We wrap it. <laughs> Number 20, nearly half the state, 48% actually PDF. It's owned by the United States government. Its Wyoming based holdings include national forests, the national grassland, and an air force base at its capital. Yeah. I bet you didn't know number 21 Wyoming didn't raise the legal drinking age from 19 to 21 until 1988. The last state in the union to do so in that green. Huh. But now it's 21. Uh, 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 it, it's 21. The federal age for the, the, the drinking. 21, not 19, but only in 1988 was it official. Wow. Yeah. Huh. What? Spitting. Spitting yeah. Wyoming facts. Spitting Wyoming facts at you. Number 22, James Cash Penny. Opened the first store on April 14th, 1902, in Kimmerer, Wyoming. <laughs> Today, there are approximately 1,020 JCPenney stores across America. JCPenney, 1,020. Not 1,200, 1,020. Yeah, but not in 2020, because in 2020, JCPenney's are pretty much extinct. But if you think about it, they're from Wyoming, and the other fact we said earlier, there's lots of dinosaurs here. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, sick. Oh. Yeah. That's all the facts we have for you today. Have a great time, all you boys, girls, cats, and squirrels. We out. <clears throat> so we are entering the Vadawu National Forest. And um, this is where we're planning on camping, but if they don't have any reserve spaces, then we're gonna have to go to Plan B, which is yet to be decided. Yeah, Vidawu Recreation. Is there someone here? Like, <laughs> what is that face that she's making? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's a good face for radio right there. <laughs> So yeah, there are empty spots, so it looks like we most likely will be staying in Vidawu tonight. Ah! <laughs> are you staying with it's us? It's Vida Woo. Vida Woo? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you say, Vidawu? Vidawu, that's what I've been saying. And hey. you got a view of the cliffs. There was one cliff that people were like standing on top. Which Valley of Dry Bones. Yeah. Um, Wyoming is the number one site for... <laughs> Why are you putting your finger in my tree? Look at that guy, he's going up the crevice. Whoa. That's how they were all going up. Yeah, that's crazy. So anyway, this is the spot. Uh, and we scoped out some spots, tried to find one and, you know, reserve it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah? Yeah. Yeah. What else did we do that night? We set up the tent that night. It, it almost blew over. Oh, that was the first oh. night. Yeah, that was the first night. It almost mm -hmm. blew over during the night and like we all fell asleep a little bit tense that we were going to wake up with the tent on top of us in the morning. <laughs> yeah. But it stayed up. Uh, can you see toiletries you... and bug spray? <laughs> I was like, good God, I'm going to get attacked by a bear tonight. Drop bears. Should we do an IHTV preview? <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome to the nest. Welcome to the nest. Here you can see. This is our humble abode, and in which abode we abide. And I don't know if you heard about in John 15 verse 4, but you're supposed to abide, and that's what we're going to do here tonight. 
We have a rock over here. Uh, that's our boulder. Uh, as Shrek would say, this is our swamp, and Donkey would say, that's a nice boulder, right? Uh, and then we also have some, uh, in case you didn't know, we also went to Deadwood, South Dakota. Just kidding, that's just a dead tree because it's not abiding in the vine. And anyway, Claire's here. She wanted some camera time, apparently, even though she's been avoiding the camera all day. This is your home This branch is no longer abiding in the vine. It could be picked off and be withered and burned. Cast into the flame. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> Take three. Four. It'll be cast into the fire and burn. I'll just add an explosion there later. I'll just add an explosion. Oh, we spotted some uh, what looked to be pronghorns or something. They look like antelope, but they got their antlers cut off. Yeah, they're definitely female. They must just like live near here, chill out near here. Can you imagine if one got hit by a golf ball? <coughs> oh, sorry. Good morning. Um, we did not blow away last night. Um. <coughs> it's about 6 a.m. and Troy and Chris still aren't awake yet, but I gotta say this is the most one of the most beautiful views that I've ever seen. It's kind of nice being out here alone, anyway. This is such a cool thing. Definitely not used to seeing big rocks that look like they're man-made in Iowa. It looks like a sculpture. Like it's made out of clay or something. Super happy that I believe in God that helps you appreciate it so much more for what it really is, which is a work of art. So, yeah, we woke up the next day, beautiful sunrise, uh, and we were like, hey, let's go for a hike. That's right, we did. We went so, for a hike the first day. Yeah. So we went and we saw some rocks, and we were like, well, let's go hike by the rocks. And we originally wanted to go on the, the Turtle, Turtle Rock Loop Trail, but uh, we found a different trailhead that we thought was the Turtle Rock head, like the trailhead, but... Um, uh, ended up taking us to Fullock Rock, which was pretty awesome. You know, the things you see at Carhenge. Hey, where's Hidden Valley Ranch at? Nobody knows, it's hidden. Can't be In found. my tummy. <laughs> hey, why. where are we at? Can you explain what this monument is? So, uh, right here we're at the Ames Monument. Uh, it's a monument for Oliver and I think his brother Oakley. I'm not sure about his brother's name, but Oliver and Oakley Ames will say. Uh, they had a very key role in developing the Transcontinental Railroad. So if you can see this face over here, that's one of the Ames brothers, and on the other side, there's another face. And the reason why it looks like, I don't know, just a big tower of rocks and stuff is because the, the developers who were trying to create it, they wanted it so that it looked like from a distance, just like the mountains and the other rocks all around, right? So it's supposed to blend in from a distance, but when you're up close, it kind of just looks dumb and out of place. We can go look at it over here. Come along. Yeah. 
So Oaks Ames, yep, Oaks and Oliver, right? They're like, we're gonna take this and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it well. So then he and his brother got together for the Ames, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Yep. Well, they created this Ames. Yeah, that's freaking interesting. Good brothers. Good for them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, conspiracy theory. No, that hey, conspiracy theory. There's actually the bodies of these guys buried within the monument, just like in Egyptian pyramids. <laughs> this is just an American pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, say that again. Sir. I want you to take a really quick look here at this dollar bill. It might just seem like a regular old dollar bill, but if you look very closely at this, on the top of the pyramid, right, there's an eye. As you can see, this pyramid is the bottom part of that pyramid. Now come look, come on. It's the Illuminati. Duh. Confirm. Yeah. Yay! Yay! We found an old watering hole. This is a big obtuse angle. What are we doing? Why is this obtuse? Because you didn't mark it as a right angle. Now it's a right triangle. Oh. So how do you not know that that was an acute triangle? How do I know it wasn't acute? Because it was yeah. bigger than 90 degrees. Did it look bigger opinion. than 90 degrees? Though? I thought okay. so. Okay, so then if I mark it like this, that made this triangle what? An isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle. <laughs> What's congruent? What does congruent mean? What a great question, DJ. Let's, let's ask our group. So what, let's help him out. What do you think congruent means? These are the same. This is Means they're the same. <laughs> so congruent <laughs> triangles mean they're the same. What do you mean by the same? They're the same. They're the same. Congru so congruent and similar is two different things. Congruent. Yeah. Yes. Can you even see them on the camera? Yeah, you can. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so now let's go into graphing. Oh, we gotta do oh that. no! Oh my god! Gotta, okay, quick graph. You got a graph in the dirt. Look at this graph. graph. But this is a coordinate plane. Oh. Right. This is our coordinate plane. And so which one is my y-axis? Isn't access? there like quadrants? Here? Yes, yes there is! Great! An observation, DJ. Okay, so what would be my y-axis here? Where and these lines accurate, intersect... That's the z-axis. Yes. A z-axis... Oh, she Real just first? stepped on here. Oh, on my line? Yeah. There's my... My what plane's like getting... like a squiggly line? Oh, there it is. So now, this line... What... What's this equation of this line? It's like U. So Wait. it's U, Y equals... They're interest rates. The longer, the longer you have a loan, the more interest it accumulates. Okay, what However, is, what is also, a, what's a function? It, what's a function? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a great question. A function... Conjunction, junction, okay. what's your So function? this line right here, our horizontal line test, when you go and you bring it up, the graph can only cross... So now that we know that that's horizontal, this... Um, okay, so then if we did... I did that backwards. It's a vertical line test. Ah! Uh, reverse, I've reverse, that's astray. my mistake. I need I've to own up to understanding. Before. Okay. Oh, chill. Chris is being a bad student and not listening to my lesson. Just kidding. Yeah, Chris just like walked out on the <laughs> class. So last fun fact for you. Okay. Is this a function? These are all just fun facts. Yeah. <laughs> because it doesn't pass the it vertical pass line the test! test. <laughs> yeah! I missed the lesson. I need you to reteach. Oh, please no. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Wait, talk. Wait, what about calculus? <laughs> so then Wednesday, least favorite part of the trip, right there. Yeah. Wednesday, we kind of just, just kidding, Claire. Uh, we woke up. Some of us were a little sore. Some of us a little out of it. Little, you had a headache on Wednesday, right? Was that was that Wednesday? Oh yeah. Yeah, that night. You had your headache then. Are you doing like a shallow focus shot of the nuts on the? <laughs> sure am. DJ, what are you doing? What, what are you doing today, DJ? We have a love-hate relationship. 
<laughs> there you go, little buddy. Now when do you get to pet him? <laughs> And then later I ended up going on that hike around the backside of the rock at the yeah, campground. Yeah, and then that's right. Climbed up and I was like, hey! And you're like, hey! Is that Chris? Is he up there? Holy crap! Hey! Oh, there he is. Hey! We see Chris. Hiking and talking with a random family on top of the mountain. Classic Chris. Classic Chris. <laughs> says DJ. Wow. I'm getting a beautiful shot of your face right now. Hello. I'm going to give you a tour of our local nature. Come along. Now. Chris decided to go along in front of us without it at the expense of my continuing prolonged illness. I'm feeling very sick right now and I have a throbbing headache migraine. I was not able to sleep last night. So my situation is, good luck getting through your, oh, okay. <laughs> my situation is, I want to go to frickin' Laramie so that I can get some, like, medication or some, like, uh, painkillers or something. But Chris wanted to go on his hike, so I decided to wait. So I'm glad that he gets to enjoy being on top of the world up there while I'm um, further prolonging my illness. So I decided to go into the woods for three reasons. One to confront Chris. Two, because I need to pee. And I'm not gonna use that filthy bathroom that they have. And three, that way if I vomit, I don't vomit in public. Come along with us on our journey. Maybe we'll run into a couple of Chesters on the way. Might see some wildlife. Take a gander at a few caves, some rocks, trees. Ah uh, yes, classic. It's a sign of the star-crossed lovers. I wonder where their marriage is at today. What? Come on! Shut up, I don't want to hear it. I'm sick right now. What are you doing? I'm here to confront you, Chris. About what? I'm sick. What? I want to go to Laramie. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to throw up right now. Fine, go to Laramie. <clears throat> I don't want to hear it. <clears throat> Oh no, if you don't come down, I'm gonna throw up. Oh no. See you in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Just kidding, I'm coming down. He's like best friends with those people at this point, I bet. I've had worse. Come along. This is to keep bears out. That's the purpose of these fences. This right here, this is called a buck fence. It's here for the purpose of... What? <laughs> Dude, frick you! <laughs> There's a tree behind you. Dude, how far are we going, man? Ah, this is the spot. I found it. Right here. <clears throat> Very abnormal spot to camp for the night. Good napping place. All you need is a pillow and a sleeping bag. You got a natural tent for the night, given to you by the Creator. Troy, come look at this, come look at this. Right here. You see that? You have a good look at it. Are we doing more math again? You have a good look at this. <laughs> you have a good look at these shapes here, these circles in the ground. Aliens, they're like crop circles, but in the dirt. Dirt circles. What do you think could have created those? Must be dirt circles. Aliens. I have no clue. Ah oh, yes. Would you look at this? This is definitely. I'll make it. Chris? 
Chris, tell us what happened here. What what am I looking at with the bread? Well, Troy, you messed up. I messed up? Yeah, you left all the bread out when you guys left. You just thought, oh, well, we'll leave and, you know, we'll feed this squirrel all morning and then he'll never come back, right? And then we ran into <laughs> Josh Owens. That's right. Right? Josh freaking Owens. And I know what you're thinking. Who the Car hell is hand. Josh Owens? <laughs> that's what we were all thinking. Because that's what we thought, too. <laughs> but his buddy's there, and he's like, you know Josh Owens from Moonshiners? <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> unanimous. You know, we were both like, hell yeah! yeah we, we know, we know Josh, Josh Owens. <laughs> so apparently Josh Owens from Moonshiners is up here. We're going to meet him. Tree. Think you could do it? Yeah, that's nice. Appreciate it. Yeah. You're really Josh Owen. Huh? You're really Josh Owen. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> you got your moonshine with you or not? Um, I don't know, maybe do we? <laughs> <sighs> you ready to hit the highway? Yeah. What are we going to do? Hit the road, I guess. <laughs> Go see the Ames Monument. Yeah. 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 Take a look at the Ames <laughs> Monument. Can we get a picture? What? Can we get a picture with Yeah, hell yeah. Sweet. And then y'all can just send those to me or whatever on Instagram or Facebook or text or whatever. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sure. Cool. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. We, we got our text from Claire and she was like, yo, what's up? Like, let's hang out. So we went there. All right, guys, what are we doing? We're going to go see the trains. 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 We went that downtown. Was the first time we went downtown. We yeah. hiked around, or just checking out the shops. Along yeah. The, you know, yeah. Old, old school downtown. As long as, as, and the railroad, like we walked across that bridge. Remember? Yep. Yep. Okay, so let's jump onto the train. All right, you go okay. first. Oh, Oh my gosh, that's even more impressive. <laughs> the fact that you got, we it, got back it back. Is... <laughs> you didn't yeah, I don't know. Point, 24 hours notice to book a tour tomorrow. Oh really? A tour yeah. of what? Of that place? Yeah. That's awesome. Do we want oh, to? I'm done. Tours are free, but donations are always welcome. That was wimpy. And yeah. then uh, we we set up our tour for the railroad depot the yeah. next day. We were so impressed we're like, by the railroad bridge that we were like, we, we want to see the tour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you come with us? The snow plow, this is the snow plow that they would attach to the front of the train apparently. Show what it looks like in use. Is it playing? Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. Oh. That's amazing. Trains. You've heard of bears and you've heard of deer, but have you heard of beer? <laughs> what does it say? Okay. To the woman in the home, this booklet is offered to acquaint you with a few of the most up to date labor saving electrical household appliances. I wonder if it says in no, I don't here have it. Shoot. This is like banish the chill at will. Wow. Oh, the, they have like a space heater in there? Yeah. Doesn't this just make you want to be a woman in the 1950s? <laughs> Ooh. 1930, fall winter bargain. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Yeah. I got two, four, six, eight, seven and a half M&M's. <laughs> Wait, a half? <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're falling apart in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So 
Uh, after that, we went back to Claire's apartment just to chill in some hammocks, but then yeah, we eventually played some volleyball. Uh, and someone else at the apartments, her name was Christine Uass. Christine Uass. Here we go. Oh boy. You're good. Woo. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, yes. You got to hold that. We will schedule one of our volunteers to meet you and your group at the depot at 2 p.m. on Thursday, August 13th. See you then. Aww. So I guess tomorrow afternoon we're booked, so. Yeah. Let's invite Christina now. Well, we did. <laughs> totally shot. That's hilarious. Because we stayed up, saw a lot of shooting stars, probably about 15 to 20 of them before we even went to bed. Yeah. And we went to bed around 10.30ish, so. Yeah. What are you doing right now? Uh, right now, we're probably about 1,500 feet below the tree line, uh, climbing up the mountain. We're going to, we're in Medicine Bow National Forest. Uh, we're gonna go see Muir Lake, take some photos, hang out, have a good time. Sick. Well, this is not a switch back. Yeah, it is. Absolutely gorgeous. The drive itself was worth it. And it Here we are. Peter Lake. This is insane. Oh my god. The top isn't even that far from us. Shut up. That's far away. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough hike. I just want to say thank yeah. you to Christine for recommending the place. Yeah, Christine. Woo. Thank you for new friend. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. We found like a kind of an unofficial that path way, that followed like the, 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 of the lake, yeah the edge of the lake and it took you up into like this uh, kind of hidden meadow mm -hmm. uh, sort of thing with this beautiful it was just full of wildflowers and yeah yeah beautiful view of the river and the mountains in the background mm -hmm. yeah we took tons of you know just epic photos like exactly what you would imagine on a Microsoft desktop like you know, uh, stock <laughs> background, background, you know, yeah. like <laughs> that's what we were taking pictures of. And that's how just beautiful it was because I'm just so glad we were able to capture it. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. <laughs> you the camera? <laughs> but that one's going to be the close up. That, this one's going to be the back one. <laughs> Black and white. Then we really would have wanted the spray, the cooking spray. Yeah. I just decided there wasn't enough girl space to play. All right, Troy. You gonna do something crazy? Oh, I'm gonna do something. Crazy. Yeah. Yep. Are you gonna film the whole thing? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna go swimming. Yeah. Yep. In this nice, warm, crisp, crisp mountain water. What do you think about this, DJ? I ain't doing that. I'm super glad that somebody's doing this. I'm just glad that it's not me, though. Oh. And I was like, yeah! I'm gonna freaking go swimming. I was committed. I, for one, did not have the intention of swimming, but I ended up swimming anyway. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, uh, finished up our time there, and we had to book it back to Laramie because we had our, uh, the Laramie Depot tour, uh, go check out the railroad stuff That's right. at 2 o'clock. So, yeah. uh, we got there, you know, with half hour to spare, uh, kind of rested a little bit, and eventually the guy came in, and his name was Charles. He was a, a 
known trainiac is what it was called. Trainiac. Uh, that's what it said that's on his name right. tag. He was a. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yes. Oh my gosh. You love that scale, don't you? 40 pounds, you said? I think it's off by 40. If it's off by 40, I'm still doing good. If it's, if it's between 30 and 40, I just oh, don't have to I don't think I want to see this. <laughs> so. Wow. So, this one would be done if it was gas powered. This would be done if it was, if they didn't have a, a, a welder on site. So they would fill the drum with thermite. You're not supposed to have thermite. <laughs> <laughs> put, a, put a mercury flare right there, set it off, and all the slag would funnel down through this mm. and in between the rail. Oh, so, okay. they have a little, uh, the, this would be the caking that they would have to put it on there to kind of help guide it and keep it in place. Mm -hmm. And then whatever slag didn't work, pour it off onto the side. <laughs> so, You'd get two pieces of rail. Once it's finished, it's nice and smooth. Yeah. Wow. Is he off the rail? And then after that, we went on our way back to the campsite here. And Chris just says, hey, what do you guys think if we just go down this random path? And so we did. We drove down the path, and we saw this bomb moose. It's a moose. It's a moose. Do you think you could? There it goes. Oh, maybe if we come up here. I've never seen a moose before. This is my first time seeing a moose. I wonder if it'll come out into this. <laughs> yes, can confirm there were pigeons living up there. <laughs> I bet real Stonehenge doesn't have to compete with that. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> All right, it's our last day, so this is our last sunrise, and this is our last morning here, and we're ready to pack up. But it's been absolutely incredible. Well, it's a beautiful sunrise. Uh, this has been a very successful little mini vacation for us. Um, a lot of God sightings everywhere, everywhere we looked. Uh, a lot of perfect timing coincidences, like running into Josh Owens, watching a rock slide down a mountain, seeing a moose, right? So, uh, yeah, all in all, I'd say it was really good. Um, looking forward to next time. Yeah. Hey, Troy. What are you thinking? What am I thinking? Yeah. Oh, about the trip? It's one of the most... One of the most um, relaxing and moving trips I've had probably like ever. Oh, wow. Yeah. You hear it here first. One of the most relaxing and moving trips ever. And next stop, Car Hinge. Yeah, speak, speaking of moving. <laughs> speaking of moving. We're moving on to Car Hinge today. Heck it definitely yeah. would be the pinnacle of the trip. <laughs> the climax. The climax. The pinnacle. And now, here we are at the pinnacle of our trip. Yes. Car, car Hinge. Oh my god. I can see it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How excited are you to see Car Hinge? I'm so freaking pumped. We waited the whole trip for this. 
And now we're here. Troy, <laughs> how excited are you to see Car Hinge? What the car hinge is this? <laughs> they had like this whole line of like hay bale stacks that you couldn't see it up the road, but now it, it, Car Hinge half a mile ahead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this there might is. be like the greatest day of my life. <laughs> car Hinge. <laughs> All right. Is there, is there a gift shop? Yeah, should we get a magnet? I want a tiny replica of car hands. <laughs> if I walk away with anything, anything less, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> we drove 24 hours for this. And now, here we are at the pinnacle of our trip. Yes. Car, car hands. Nebraska state slogan? I'm sorry. I'm sorry is not their state slogan. Maybe in Minnesota it is. But uh, the great state of Nebraska here, right, is home to wonderful artists. And the artist who created this, you know, Stonehenge replica, he served a lot of time in England uh, studying art and other things. And he th said, hey, I want to make a Stonehenge of the West. So he came here to his hometown in Alliance, Nebraska to create a replica of the sculpture. So he and his family at a family reunion decided, all right, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna take all of these scrap cars because they're about the same size and shape and we can't find big you know, blocks of stone like they could in England. And we're gonna create a replica of Stonehenge using these cars. So in six days, they created this masterpiece, right? 9,999 years and 51 weeks faster than, you know, the ancient who, who created Stonehenge. I don't know, the Mayans or something? Not the Mayans, the Mayans are in South America. But the, uh, like, Incas? Whoever created Stonehenge, right? Maybe we don't even know who created Stonehenge, but we did it so much faster and so much better, right? We did it the American way. And this is the result. So, yeah. Amen. Now we're just basking in the glory, uh, checking it out.